What's up guys and welcome to Tan and his channel and today I will do a playtest on the Yonex Polytour Ref 1.25 string. This string are made in three colors, the purple, the white and the orange. But I chose white for my blackout blade, it's a safe choice to go with. And it looks really good on the racket. The Polytour Ref is an 8-sided polyester string with silicone infused filament technology. Never heard of that before, but it's basically the polyester string with silicone oil in the construction. It makes the string slicky and gives better snapback when you hit. So in theory, it should generate more topspin than other strings. Let's start with the feel. Looking at this chart, Yonex actually put the Polytour Ref in the firm and responsive quadrant. Yes, it plays firmer than the Polytour Pro, but for me, I think the string is muted and a bit mushy compared to other polyester string in the market like Tobite, Hyper G, Ice Code, etc. etc. I don't feel much of a crispiness in the string bed and I don't consider it as a responsive string. Actually, I have tried the Polytour Ref before on the playtest of the new Yonex V Core 100. But at that time, I don't have much of a complaint because the racket is muted anyway, so it doesn't make much of a difference. But on the blade, I would prefer something more crispy and responsive because the racket feels great and I don't want to take that away. On the power aspect, I would say it's more powerful than most of the polyester string in the market, even with the 1.25 gauge. I feel like I can generate a bit extra power than when I play with the 2 by soft at thinner gauge. For the spin, I don't think it matched my expectation. Actually, I use this string because I want to get more spin out of my blade, but it ends up having less top spin than the 2 by soft. And the response is somewhat unpredictable. Sometimes it bite the ball just fine and I can hit top spin like usual. Sometimes it bites too much and doesn't have much of a drive behind the ball and so the ball lands short or in the net. And sometimes it doesn't bite the ball at all and it sails long. The launch angle is also not very consistent. So some of you may say it probably because of my technique but on my defense, I don't think I have this issue that much with you know, other shape poly strings that I normally use. So in my opinion, the unpredictable bite and snapback is the main downside of this string. So this came down to the control. When the spin is unpredictable, I cannot control the depth of the ball that much and the pace of the rally from my side is somewhat inconsistent. But the directional control is pretty good. You can see on the playtest that I can place the ball left and right just fine. So I try to play on that and move the opponent around. And look at that put away shot. I try to get on top of the ball and hit a winner. But the string ends up biting the ball too much and I send the ball to the ground even before the net. And that's the example of what I'm talking about. It almost never happened to me before when I'm using other strings. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more tennis content. On the surf, I don't think it's noticeably better than other strings. It's not like outstanding or anything. The first serve is just normal. I can get this power from any strings on the blade. The placement of the ball is just okay, not that I can place it with an extreme angle. And the second serve? I don't think I can get more slice and kick than other shape poly, so I wouldn't rate it too good on this department. The return though is above average. I think I made a pretty high successful percentage of the return today, probably because it has more power and when I do a return, I mostly just punch it back or block it back with shorter backswing so it works well. On the backhand slice, I don't like it, especially on the defense. I feel like the ball floats too much and I don't feel like I can put it down laser beam type style unlike the Technifiber ice core that is so good at the slice. Anyway, I think my backhand uh, is pretty good on power and consistency, probably because I don't hit 
top spin that much so it's more predictable and it can help with the extra power on that side on the forgiveness uh, I think it's more forgiving than most poly strings uh, I actually think it makes the sweet spot larger and I can get more pops but what I don't like is that it makes the sweet spot feels unlike the sweet spot you know on other strings when you hit the sweet spot you know it and everything is great good feel power spin control everything but on this poly tour ref the sweet spot probably feels 80% of what you normally get but the area is larger so it's a give and take okay this is the summary of what I think about the string okay so this is the summary of what I think about the string it has extra power you get larger sweet spot and it's forgiving um, good directional control uh, it feels good on the backhand side and it has effective service return. The cons are that it has unpredictable spin, so it's not so good at the depth control, and the string feels muted and mushy. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next video. Bye!